So, you've just finished your research. Naturally, you're eager to share your research findings with the stakeholders and the team. But how do you go about it? You create a good UX research report. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to UX Tweaks channel. Today, we will share our top five tips for creating an engaging and convincing report. Ready? Let's jump right in. For stakeholders to be invested, clearly state the scope and purpose of the study. Note down specific product areas or functionality problems you were tackling. Mention the methodologies you used and how they helped extract user insights. But don't go overboard. Teams will benefit from understanding what you did and why you did it in the study. But they are way more interested in the research results and how to apply them. It's also important to explain who the participants were. Describe their main goals, problems, behaviors, and emotions. Mention the number of participants you've included and why. Explain whether they represent a specific customer segment or the overall target group for the product. A straightforward way to do that is to copy your UX persona into the report. The value of a UX research report is not in the simple presentation of facts you've gathered about users. A good UX research report is meant to help teams achieve business goals, such as improving conversion rates and enhancing customer satisfaction. So make sure to highlight the business value your research offers. When discussing your findings, suggest solutions based on your in-depth understanding of the users, especially as you spent the most time analyzing their behaviors, preferences, and pain points. After you've described your participants to the team, try to make stakeholders empathize with the test group. Include user journeys, storyboards, and other artifacts you've used throughout research. You can also use direct user quotes to highlight specific problem areas. This will clarify what drives user behavior during interactions with the product and the context of such interaction. Not only will it help stakeholders step into users' shoes, but it will also make the report easier to comprehend through data visualization. When it comes to visualization, it's also great to use infographics, charts, and screenshots from your research to provide a comprehensive review of the findings. Provided your report is digital, you can use interactive elements such as clickable user journeys or pop-up clouds with more detailed explanations for specific findings. And if you used user interviews or usability tests during the study, you can also include small video clips of screen recordings. Try to only include information that is relevant to stakeholders' decision-making processes. Don't overwhelm readers with technical data and try to avoid research jargon at all costs. Try to speak the reader's language instead and make connections between research findings and other teams' processes when possible. When preparing summaries, don't use more than five to six key points. Stakeholders appreciate concise, straight-to-the-point summaries that can easily be adopted, so don't overwhelm the readers. And there we go. Follow our tips and be sure to create actionable, convincing UX research reports. And by the way, if you receive user feedback that seems helpful and important, even if it's outside the study's focus, make sure to communicate it to the team. It's important to hear participants, so don't just skip it. Like and subscribe to watch more videos on all things UX related. See you next time.